Hello friends, I think you will be very pleased to know that we are starting the Discuss Agile conference on 15th and 16th of December. Uh, and, uh, it will have four themes predominantly. One is personal agility, second is Kanban, hybrid agile, and coaching and leadership. And today I have one person who is going to talk about one of the topic under the theme of personal agility. I have Lakshmi with me and her topic is very interesting. And the topic name is who moved my cheese. So before I go to the topic, uh, Lakshmi, uh, welcome to uh, uh, this session. And I would request you to introduce yourself to the audience. Uh, thank you, Jatinder. Uh, my name is Lakshmi and I have been working with agile technologies for the last eight years in various capacities, whether it's Scrum Master, Product Owner, Agile Coach, etc. Uh, my last assignment was for India Innovation, uh, where I managed a team of very old people and coached them into delivering their uh, product in the mobile payments domain. The product Kite Cash is now widely available on Google Play Store and Apple. Um, so that's it about me. Thank you, Lakshmi. Uh, so coming back to the topic uh, about who moved my cheese, it's a quite interesting short topic and I'm sure a lot of uh, our friends would be wondering that what is it all about and what they can get uh, as an audience from your talk by attending your talk. Why don't you share that with us? Okay. Thank you, uh, Jitinder. Uh, okay. Um, as I said, I used to work for, uh, I used to use waterfall uh, methodologies. Most of my projects were almost about 15, 20 years. When I first encountered my uh, first agile project, yes, it was a change for me. Um, and two books which helped me make the transition smoother. Well, one of them was a book by Spencer Johnson called Who Moved My Cheese? And the second one was uh, by Dale Carnegie, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. My talk is basically focused on the first one, which is uh, Spencer Johnson's How to Move My Cheese. This is a book which uh, was written way back in 1989, but I believe it's as timely now, it's as relevant now as it was then. Uh, for those of you who have not read that story, uh, it's about two mice and two little people who are all in the quest for cheese. So every day they get out and they go looking for cheese. One fine day, they go to the usual place and find that the cheese is no longer there. So the story talks about the, the reactions of the four people. Uh, the mice are very glad to accept the change and they actually go about looking uh, for new avenues and new places where they could get the cheese. Uh, the little people, while they're supposed to be more analytical and more complex, kind of complicate their lives and one of them, in fact, till the end of the story, the, uh, resists the change and stays put, uh, while the other one, after a period of initial misgivings, actually steps out and goes ahead and um, finds cheese. So uh, cheese is, is basically a metaphor in this case for something that we all aspire for. It could be money, it could be a new job or whatever. All of us have this, uh, or at least most of us have this habit of getting complacent when things are going our way and you know we think we have reached an ultimate goal, not realizing that most things are in a stage of flux and sooner or later change is going to come away. So I'm basically going to be relating the story to actual events in the real world and talk about how uh, it's so much easier to change in one. That's cool. That's an interesting idea. And I'm sure after attending your talk, most of our audience will get their cheese uh, in the form of whatever this metaphor would be relevant for them. That's cool. Anything else, uh, Lakshmi, you would like to tell our friends? Uh, see, uh, one thing that I have uh, noticed is that while there is a lot of emphasis on enterprise agility and organization, uh, organizational uh, agility or business agility uh, as we know it, uh, ultimately, to a great extent, it depends on people themselves, on how agile they are. If the people are resistant to change, uh, there's not very much that you can do about it. It's going to be much slower and things are going to be much harder, so that much harder. So that's where my talk is addressed. All of us have 
encounter this somewhere or the other in our coaching assignments. I mean, whether it is uh, testers who are suddenly uh, resisting the change to automation, or it is project managers who are suddenly finding that the role is changing. You know, uh, there's no equal responsibility in a way in the agile uh, scrum master or product owner role. It is more of a facilitator or a uh, servant leader rather than the direct and control which they might have been used to. So the team in most of our cases has moved and uh, as coaches I think our role is basically to facilitate and see that this transition is smoother. So anybody who is encountering change and would like to do it more smoothly or who is watching someone encounter a, a painful change and wants to help them out, please do join in. Sure. Thank you, Lakshmi. Thank you very much. So that was Lakshmi for the topic of who moved my cheese uh, in the personal theme category. And please join Lakshmi on 15th and 16th, a Discuss Agile conference organized by Eisenbridge. And definitely we'll have a takeaway so that we can find out for ourselves, how do we actually not resist the cheese, but accommodate it and then be relevant for ourselves as well as for the organization. Thank you very much. See you on 15th and 16th.